Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and today we're answering the question, what is solar tax equity financing? Well, solar tax equity financing is just a term for pairing a large commercial solar project that qualifies for a lot of federal tax incentives but can't use them with an investor who has money to put to work and also has tax liability that they want to reduce. So on the one hand, you have this large solar project that qualifies for things like the investment tax credit, which this year is 26%, or makers, the accelerated depreciation or bonus depreciation, but the project developers, also known as the sponsors, can't take advantage of these tax credits because they just don't have the tax liability. They partner with an investor who has the tax appetite, they say, which means they just want to reduce their tax liability. They, the, they, the developer is partnered with the investor and the investor has the money to put to work. They get to take 100% of the tax incentives and everybody wins. The developer gets to build the project, uh, they get the money that they need, the investor gets to reduce their tax liability, and the project gets built and a, an off-taker, uh, a customer, uh, ends up using the renewable energy. And that situation creates, a situ creates an opportunity for tax equity financing. Uh, and um, there are three uh, typical structures for solar tax equity financing. And I, below this video, I kind of go into a little detail on uh, one type of structure, which is uh, called a partnership flip. There's two other ways that people approach solar tax equity. One is a sale lease back or an adverted lease. Uh, and there are links in the article to other resources that you can click on that, that will give you a lot, of more, lot more detail on those. Um, but uh, from my standpoint, really what I'm here to help you think through is uh, when you do one of these projects, just remember that there are a lot of insurance and risk management and risk transfer things to think about. Everything from general liability insurance to make sure that uh, nothing happens on the property, uh, you property insurance to make sure that nothing happens to the system. Uh, you might have solar production insurance to make sure that the property performs, that the projections uh, work out the way that they're supposed to, and if they don't, you get paid. Uh, you have uh, cyber liability or errors and omissions if you're doing a community solar project. You might have directors and officers exposure if you're running a fund or solar tax equity investment where you have limited partners and investors and you know all those different types of things to think about. And then you actually have to build the project. And so when you build the project, you gotta make sure that the contractor and any subs or independent contractors that they use, because they're probably gonna use some, are covered and that they have the right indemnification and risk transfer in place so that you're covered. So that if something happens, you don't end up getting named in a lawsuit. And if you do, you can just tender that lawsuit back to them. So um, anyway, hope this is helpful. If you have questions about uh, your insurance and if you uh, want to schedule an appointment with me, I'd, I'd love to talk to you and hear about your project. Um, thanks again and uh, good luck and have a great day.